Hey YouTube, it's Penny. I'm recording this on Thursday, January 22nd, and I wanted to briefly discuss two things in this video. Um, first, let me say, I'm sorry I haven't been on here much lately. Um, the sales of the Sefer um, scriptures have gone through the roof, especially since Eli Marzuli featured us in his blog on January 6th. Um, thank you very much, Eli, if you were watching this. Appreciate um, your support. So anyway, so I've been really busy um, with all of that, but two things I feel are um, important. One is um, I had, have received uh, a couple of different folks um, warning me about the movie called um, Fifty Shades of Grey, and so I wanted to pass along that warning to you. I'm going to include a link in the uh, description box to The Sparrow's Barn. Um, I've, I've recommended Erin in the past. Her dreams are amazing, and the father has recently asked her to share her story, um, and uh, so and it, it's a troublesome story. So this uh, and, and he also, you know, it ties it to warning against this movie. So uh, if you, I mean, obviously most Christians would never go see this movie, um, but also we think that most Christians would never watch pornography in the privacy of their own homes. And we know that statistics are such that um, it's just as prevalent in the church as it is outside of the church. So, um, while it should go without saying that no Christian should ever go see this movie, um, we need to say it and we need to spread the word. Um, I have not reviewed this movie, I have not felt called to go even look at a review, a synopsis, anything. Um, but the father did give me um, a pretty disgusting dream uh, last week. And when I was praying about it and asking why, why did you show me this? Um, the spirit really impressed upon me it's because he's showing me that we need to warn people about this movie. And I went, oh, okay. So I'm being obedient in doing that. Um, sin is not a shade of gray. Uh, it's black, black or white. And people who choose to see their behavior um, in terms of shades of gray are completely and utterly deceived. Um, so pray against this movie. Um, pray for the protection of marriages. Pray especially for the younger generation. Um, who, you know, will more easily maybe fall for this deception. Um, pray against the spirit of pornography and um, lust and all of the awful stuff that goes with it. So, um, and I do encourage you to, to read the link in the description box for Aaron's testimony. So, um, and then on a different subject, um, I did want to share something. Um, T, bless her heart, sent me a, an email today, and I'm just going to... Um, she's given me like carte blanche permission to share stuff that she shares with me. So I'm going to share part of this with you. Um, so she said, it seems like on a daily basis, I'm crying to him. God, I see the problems and brokenness of this world, but how do we fix it when the whole world is spinning in the wrong direction? Then all of a sudden it pings in my brain. A recent dream I had about some sort of incoming object coming into the earth's atmosphere, and I'm running throughout the upstairs of the house telling my sister to brace herself. I know the earth is coming to an abrupt stop because of the gravitational pull of this incoming object, and it is bending all the structures toward it in the opposite direction. And I remember how he tells me first in the physical and then in the spiritual. So that's something that the father has repeated to her numerous times. And I believe he is telling me that this is connected to the prayers of my heart, how to change things. He is going to do it. And I'm thinking that the physical manifestation is going to set off a spiritual manifestation in people's hearts. It's going to create a standstill event. And those of God's people who are asleep are going to be jolted into reality and it's going to cause them to run back to God. I keep thinking about how the majority of this world follows the sun god and the sun empire and the doctrines that it spreads. Like the peoples of the earth gravitate around this force and this is about to be cut off or cut down and the gravitational force of this incoming object is going to pull them in another direction. But the people that know their God will stand, she put it in all caps, meaning they will not be moved in either direction. 
Do not go to the left hand or to the right hand, but stay in the middle, the narrow road, the straight path. It makes It's making so many of my other dreams ping. It also makes me think of double-minded of the double-minded man who is tossed about like the waves of the sea and somebody just had this in their prophecy that the double-minded man is going to bob to and fro with the waters um she she doesn't have the link if any of you know which prophecy she's talking about please post it in the comments she says anyway he keeps pointing me to the solar eclipse as being the midpoint and connecting it to an event and possibly a falling empire and a rising empire and i am bracing myself for what is to come so anyway, the rest of this is um, personal. So, you know, I've been shown whatever you want to call it, Planet X, Planet 7X, um, as uh, Gil Broussard is, is calling it now. Uh, and I'll put a link to his um, YouTube channel in the description box as well. Um, you know, Nibiru, Taiki, I mean, whatever, there's all these names for it. But um, I... I definitely believe that something something's coming and that the governments of the world know it and it is going to be um, a, a turning point, a, a watershed event, if you will. And and people who listen to doctrines of demons and who aren't firmly grounded in the word and don't have a really, really strong relationship with our Messiah, Yahusha, HaMashiach, um, and and the father and know who they are in him man they're going to be shaken to their core and they're going to question everything they've ever believed and um everything they've ever been taught from the pulpit so i just want to um reiterate the warning that um, we need to be on our knees we need to be taking every thought captive we need to be living holy righteous lives um completely laid out before the father um i believe that this life that we're in right now it's just a test for the life that's to come, so may we pass the test. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the universe. Amen.